it's summertime. Sun's out, fun's out. The kids are out of school, and it's time to find out what you're gonna do with them. So we headed to Camp Pocomath. They have lots of great things to offer. We're gonna to talk to Jack Shatama to see what those things are. Now I'm standing here with Jack Shatama, an amazing man with a great name. And we're at Camp Pocomath, and we're gonna talk about some of the summer camps that they're offering. So Jack, what do you got coming up for us? Well, camp starts June 18th, Bruce, and uh, we run eight weeks of overnight camp and 11 weeks of day camp. And kids can come for one week at a time, and some kids actually come for several weeks. Already we've got about 500 kids registered for camp this summer, uh, but we'll serve over 1,000 kids. So there's plenty of time to register for camp. We have 19 different overnight programs. We have things for kids that uh, who want to cook, uh, who want to learn how to water ski, who want to learn how to climb on high ropes. Uh, you name it, we're having fun here on the river and here in the woods. Great. See, I never got to go to camp growing up. So it's really cool for me to be here right now, just standing on the water. It's awesome. I was wondering, maybe you could show me around, like what kind of things you're going to offer? Yeah, absolutely. Let me show you. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, we didn't have to go far because right here on the river, uh, right around the end of May, you're going to see floating trampolines, climbing walls, huge 12-foot slides that are in the water, and that's part of our summer camp. We call it Splashdown. And just about every camp program gets to uh, spend at least one session on the water, and some of our programs spend several, including also going inner tubing and water skiing and wakeboarding. So being on the water is where it's at. We also will have this year 22 new stand-up paddle boards, which is really exciting because that's kind of a thing that kids don't get to do very often, and they'll get to do that as well as canoeing and kayaking here on the river too. That sounds fun. Now, because we're doing this kind of for you, you're going to let me come out and do it for free one day, right? Absolutely. Nice. Well, and you know what? We also have friends and family camp the last weekend in July. That's for anybody of any age to come here and have, uh, have that kind of camp fun. Now, this looks awesome. What do we have here? Well, this is our climbing tower, and everything we do on our high challenge course um, is very safe because they're belayed, they're harnessed in, and they're held by a pulley, and uh, they're not going to be worrying about falling, even though it feels like they're high up. So they can climb up there, then they can hook into that zip line and shoot all the way out across that field. This is one of about a half a dozen high elements that we have here throughout the woods, and uh, we call the, the participation in this challenge by choice. So we don't force kids to do what they don't, don't want to do, but we want every child to think about what does it mean to push their own envelope? What does it mean to kind of take a step out just a little bit? And then the rest of the group learns how to, to support them. We also have another eight low elements where uh, kids learn how to work together. It builds trust and cooperation. So these are skills that kids learned that, that really help them in life. All right, we're standing on top of the slide that leads into the pool, and this has to be at least half the kids' favorite place to be, right? Uh, the kids love the pool. We're standing 12 feet above the ground, and there's this tube over here that they go in. It's about 60 feet of tube that curls around, and when they come out the bottom, they're going full speed into about four feet of water, and they love it. Uh, the pool is one of the favorite places for them to be. Um, you know, it's the <laughs> middle of summer, you're splashing in the water, and they're having fun with friends, so it's a, it's a great place. Plus, when they're here, they also can play other games. Uh, right down there, we have uh, what's called the Gaga Pit, and uh, the Gaga Pit is where you play a game called Gaga Ball, which is a form of dodgeball, where um, they're able to, to just bat the ball and hit people below the knees, and when you get hit below the knees, you're out, and the last person in wins. Um, so it's, it's a very friendly form of dodgeball. We, we play friendly games here at Camp Pocomath. Yeah, that sounds fun. And later, maybe we'll get on YouTube, just me and Jack just playing gaga ball together and see who can win. But Jack, <laughs> I had a great time with you today, my man. This is an awesome place. Everything looks beautiful. I can't wait to see millions of kids here having fun in the summer. And they can go on your website, right? That's What's your right. website one more time? www.pocomath.org. P-E-C-O-M-E-T-H dot O-R-G. Awesome. And then when you go in there, you can see all the rates for the camps. You can see all the weeks that are available, all the classes. And then your kids can come here and have a great time. Jack, thanks so much for having us today. Thank you, Bruce.